Is that dude's shoes right there, real or fake, right here with the blue shoes, the patent leathers? He said it. We out here at SneakerCon right now, and uh, I seen a couple of people rocking around with some fakes. Let's go see if we can find some more. So my question is, are custom sneakers considered to be fakes? Because you customized a real shoe, but you like did different things to it. So is it a fake now, or is it a custom? Is it in its own category? Are custom fakes considered to be fakes, or are they just customs? I'm interested to ask some people as well throughout the day. I see a lot of people rocking some classics out here. We got some fours, some 11s, some different stuff right there. I got some Air Force Ones. Everybody's looking to be checking out as legit so far, but you never know. They could slide in front of you at any moment. Somebody might even think the shoes on my feet are fake. <laughs> Good thing they're not. Ooh, off-whites, Chicago's. Let's check them out. Those are legit. Let's ask the guy what if people ask him if his shoes are fake or not. Should we ask him? Let's ask him. Excuse me, sir. So. Oh, DJ is in the house. People, I, people. Uh, I see you got some off-white ones on. Yes, sir. They look like they check out as legit. Yes, sir. Do people ask you if those are legit or not? Uh, sometimes, but not here. Yeah. Yeah. People if, are like, "All oh, the shoes too expensive, so it can't be real." They're. They can, they can do a legit check if they want to up over there. Isn't it crazy how that happens though? It is crazy. It is. But <laughs> you, we're in sneaker con. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's a little, the level of disrespect. It's a little <laughs> bit. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit too much. I feel that. Well, you look good. I like it. You got yeah. the fit together. I yeah, appreciate sir. it, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Yeah. It's always a pleasure to see yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right here, right here. Come here. Let's, this table right here. Okay, so. My question to you. This is a table full of custom sneakers, yeah. right? Decoration and custom sneakers. So, do you, do how do people decipher like? Because you hear a lot of people say, "Is it real? Is it fake? Is it custom?" It's real, but it's unique. It's what? Because uh, the sole is authentic. Okay. And uh, the manufacturer is for uh, exclusive model for every okay. customer. So you have a real outsole, and then you customize the entire upper. Can you repeat, please? Because I oh yeah, from Italy. you're right. So you have a real outsole, and then you customize the upper. Yes, I customize the upper. We okay. made we uh, the construction the shoes uh -huh. and uh, made the shoes with the uh, all uh, premium materials. Straight Look. out of Italy. Straight out of Italy. I, yes. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, Python skin. From here, uh, Louis Vuitton, Prism. Okay. So you use an authentic bag, you take the material and then put it on the shoe. And put on the shoes, yes. Okay. okay. So, I'll let you guys. Oh, there's like from a Gucci bag. Design. Customize it. Got you. Okay. Dope. I appreciate it. Thank you. Work on. Follow on Instagram. Work on. Okay, dope. I appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, so. That right there, they use authentic materials and they customize the shoe. So, how do you consider that? Is it a custom? Is it a fake? Is it a real? To me, it's a real custom, right? Is that what you're saying? In that kind of category? It's interesting how people have these conversations about this stuff, justifying the different things and everything. So, I'm here to ask questions, get answers for you guys because I'm also very interested in this topic. Typically at the booths as well, you'll see a lot of the cheaper shoes are at the bottom and the more expensive shoes are gonna be at the top, the, the grails or whatever that may be. Um, but another thing, another key thing to looking for sneakers is look for older stuff. When you look for older stuff, you know that the shoe is legit because when they make a fake of an old shoe, aging is a huge thing. You can see the aging in a shoe, whether it's yellowing, whether it's uh, the paint cracking a little bit, whatever it may be, those are factors on like, this is a legit shoe, and it makes it a lot easier. So I always tell people like, if you plan on purchasing sneakers from like those other resale websites and stuff, you go after the old stuff, it's hard to fake the old stuff. Now the new releases, that's where they start to, you know, pull the wool over your eyes and get you with the new releases and stuff. So that's where you wanna be more leery about stuff. But I'm interested to find somebody with some fakes on feet. You know, or some customs, whatever they like to call it. What the people got on their feet? Let's ask these people about fakes over here. How do you feel about fake shoes? I don't like it, and hot take, 
some of the people, some of the people who wear fakes, not real sneakerheads. I think it's ruining the whole sneaker game right now. Because it's like, there's a lot of good fakes, but at the same time, just spend your money on real shoes. You know, that's what their value's at. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. I like okay. it. Okay. How you feel about fakes? Fakes? Yeah. Um, Did you not... see any fakes in the streets out here today? No, definitely, for sure. Fakes suck, dude. Like, why are you buying a fake? Just buy the real thing. Come on now. Don't be that guy. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, everybody's got their opinion, and I'm not mad at it. Oh. He said I got the fake. See, I told you. I told you. They smell a little funny. Hey, it's been a long day. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can find. I need somebody with like, you know them like fake dunks that everybody be wearing with like the different stuff on them? Or like the, um, what's the other one? I think, oh, right there. There's somebody right there. We got somebody right here. You see the lightning bolt? Let's go ask him. I got a question about your kicks. Okay, so are these considered to be Real fake or custom? People are gonna call them fake, but I think they're custom. I mean, he didn't do much, right? But I like them. Okay. So, so I think it's just considered to be a custom. It's a re-rock custom, however you want to put it. But okay. yeah, I wouldn't call them fake, but you know. Okay. So they're, what is the? They're dirty too. I didn't go to Mr. Clean yet. What's the title of the shoe? Uh, Cool Keys. Cool Keys. Yeah. And it's like. That's just the name of it? It doesn't say like Air Jordan 1 Low? No, no, no. So it's a designer named Key. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's from New Jersey. Okay. And uh, yeah, no, he just, you know, at the time he was going crazy. So I, I, I'm sure I probably got like 10 to 12 pairs. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I feel it. And yeah. they got different colorways and stuff. So I understand why people, because it's like unique to that too. I like, mean, that's how he kind of got hot. He was doing yeah. the color. Well, not saying he was doing the colorways before Nike, but you know, he's. The better colorways that people wanted. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then all of a sudden Nike followed suit and right. started giving us all the color dunks we wanted. You know what I'm saying? So okay. But. Well, I appreciate the information. We're out here asking, you know, just trying to get the different perspectives, see people rocking stuff. Like, I appreciate it. It's all good. Yeah, thanks, bro. Hey. What's up? Oh, oh, what's up, bro? Hi. Are your shoes legit? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, I like to see it. All right, let's take a pic. Let's take a pic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My dog. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Hey, I love the shoes too, bro. Thank great, you. great shoes. I appreciate it. Hey, those is comfy too. I like those too. <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all. We gotta ask some people if their shoes are legit. That's what we should do. Just come up to them like, are your shoes real or not? Oh, we got some right here. Right here. We got some off-white forces. Excuse me, sir. Are your shoes legit? Yeah. How sure. much you spend on them? Like six. Six hundred? Yeah. Do they look like that before you got them or after? No, after they're brand new. You just been rocking them? Yeah. Honestly, Honestly, I like the way they look like that. Thank you. Yeah, they look good. Appreciate that. You've been putting that work in them. Uh, thank you. Okay. Nice shoes. He says they're legit. Do you think so? No, they look legit. They look good. They look good. Every, everybody's looking solid, honestly. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's not as many people. Yesterday, yesterday was, they wasn't walking by left and right, but I seen a couple ones that was like, woo! 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 Let's go to this table right here. What's happening? Okay. So. You got a load of stuff over here. You got to get close with this on. You got to show them all the stuff yeah. that's on the table. Tell them what we got on the table. I'll let her keep the camera on the, what's on the table. Okay, so we got here the uh, Jason Tatum. Tattoo fours. Tattoo fours. And uh, Canary Mismatch Sample. Luxy Sample. Okay. Valance. Peace Trail Fly. Yeah. Nipsis 3. Victory Lap. Yeah, Victory Lap. And the for real, Spike Lee. Ooh, okay. Uh, all these four are PJ's exclusive. Okay. And the Futura. And these, uh, Travis four friends and family signed by Travis. Dope, dope. Uh, Dior, the OVO, and the uh, two Oregon. Oregon Ducks. Yep. What size are Ducks? Uh, 11 and 12. 11 and 12, okay. Size 13. I'm a 13. Yeah. I remember that, bro. Yeah, yeah. Another okay, one. so. What? Oh, here's a good one, too. Oh, yep. So that's a prime example. Like, this shoe is older, and you can see the yellowing, like, from age right here. So when you say, like, oh, samples and PEs are so exclusive, they're so rare, how do you get your hands on them? If it was a fake pair that was made, you would be able to tell because these have aging because yeah. of time. Uh -huh. So how do you go through, like, 
guaranteeing that you get a real pair of shoes when it comes to these samples and PEs and stuff. I smell it. You smell it? Yeah. I every time. Smell. Yeah, every time. Okay. I can tell by smell it. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, the smell of uh, glue. Yeah. It's different. So what about the people that say, oh, there's the good quality fakes with the with the without the smell. So there's always two friends. Yeah. There's always two friends, fake okay. and real. Okay. Real, real. It was good. Hey, come here, come here. I gotta go, I gotta go. Yeah. So what do you think about samples and fakes and all that stuff? Like, how do you go through the authentication process and guaranteeing that the shoe's legit? Um, well, you can't replicate my eye or yours. Right. But um, it's initially, I don't know, man. I don't know if I like have a nose for finding truffles like a dog. Yeah. But you can just kind of like sniff it out and just look at the shape and everything. But that's and because of like your experience over the years. Yeah, and that's yeah. a big thing too. Like you've been in the game for how long? 23 years. 23 sir. years. How long you been in the game? 10 years. 10 years. So over that time, it's like easy to kind of identify the yeah. shoe. You can see it walking by from 30 feet away and just know. Yeah. It's crazy how that works. I've seen a lot of people wearing fake stuff. That's what I <laughs> Bro, we're trying to find a pair. I've seen so no, many. And now it's I've like... seen the worst. Some dude came over with, we had, we literally have a legit Paris, Freddy Krueger, all this stuff. This guy put this thing up right next to him and, and said they were real. I was like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> hey, mind you, he's the guy with like, how many Parises did you have? 33. 33 pairs of Paris dunks right here. Crazy. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. But yeah, get back to, uh, he knows he knows about some shoes. <laughs> all right, bro. Scene, My hand all sweaty from this mic. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's kind of my question about mm -hmm. it. Uh, everybody's always interested, and in, uh -huh. how do you like build that confidence in going after and buying? Like, what was that first shoe that you spent a lot of money on that was like, ooh, I hope this is legit? Oh, the first one, bought from you, maybe. Okay. The Real MP. Okay. Oh, you got your first one from me. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are legit. Are you, you don't have first, to worry about that. The first uh, expensive shoes. Okay. So before that, all the general release shoes. That's fire. Yeah, but That's I know you. I, I saw your page. Uh, yeah, I like that. I forgot about that. I didn't know that was like the Thanks beginning. For the yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, bro. Good seeing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. That's crazy. I forgot about that. I remember selling him uh, some PEs back in the day, but like, I didn't realize that was his first one. And I got him started. Now he got all these PEs. That's dope. Okay. Y'all want to see some of my stuff? Should we show them? We show them? Okay, so we brought out, um, you know, I got to represent hometown Oregon Ducks always. Switch it up. Brought some more expensive stuff. We brought the Oregon 5 uh, basketball team. That shoe is like, people always ask. It's like a $20,000 shoe. Um, ooh, 28 days of flight right here. Brought these out for display this time. Another one that a lot of people, oh, this shoe's fake. Da -da -da -da. No, this is a look -see sample. Nobody's ever seen these before. I'm letting you guys get a quick look at them. Come on, give them a quick look. Look see, look see. All right, get them out of here. 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 We'll do a review. I'll make sure I make a full review for you guys. Uh, Ray Allen's, uh, Louis, all the different stuff. Got some college PEs over here, Yeezys, Red Octobers. This is a shoe that got faked heavy back in the day. I feel like they don't fake them as much anymore. Maybe they do, but I remember. There were some bad fakes of the Yeezys back in the day. Luckily, got mine from the homie at Nike. I got the whole set. Ooh, these things are beautiful. Um, but yeah, this is some of the stuff I brought on display. Do we got anything else for him? What do you think? I have a question. What's up? What would make Yeezys great again? What would make Yeezys great again? I think honestly, if you just buy the hat, that might make them great. ShopDNAShow.com. I'm out. Um, no free pub. Are your shoes fake? Actually, yeah. You say what? They're custom. Oh, they're custom? Custom fakes. What, what kind of customs are those? Uh, we call these uh, uh, Uncle Granddaddies. Granddaddies? Uncle Granddaddies. Uncle Granddaddy Canes? Yeah. Granddaddy <laughs> Canes? He's related to Dingleberry Larry? Uh, and Ashley Larry's his second cousin on his mama's side. I get it. Yeah. Where can I find those? Um, I got them from DH Gate. I know a guy, um, he's in China, okay. and um, it'll take about, I think it takes two weeks. Okay. But if you pay for extra shipping, it, it's, extra shipping is like $27. Okay. 27 American dollars. Okay. And you will get them in, I think, I want to say seven to five to seven days. Okay, what's the plug's name? Um, I can't tell you the plug's name, I just have his, uh, his WhatsApp. WhatsApp? I have his WhatsApp. Right, right. He's probably in the comment section right now of the video. He probably is, but I'm not gonna, you know, I'm okay. not, you know, I can't, okay. I can't say the plug on that one. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. <laughs> okay, what else we got? 
Yeah. What's good? How you doing, bro? Appreciate it. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Much love. Yeah. How you doing? Good. How about you? Uh. What you rocking? Oreos. Oreo fours. Yep. Okay. Okay. Are they legit? Yes. They okay, are. that's what I'm asking yeah. around, asking yeah, people yeah, right a friend now. Of, a friend of mine, a guy from Sneaker Con Bay Area. Okay. And I had a buddy up there. He just he was there too, so I was like checking them, yeah, yeah, checking yeah, that yeah. they were good. So what do you do about making sure your shoes are authentic? Um, usually I look for the because my my buddy told me. Yeah. Or just look on YouTube yeah. or on TikTok, wherever I can find it. And say hey. Make sure you look for the stitching, yeah. the leather, all mm -hmm. the other stuff. Okay. So okay. that's definitely doing multiple places before you go and make yeah. that purchase. It. That, that's what I usually do. Smart move, smart yeah. move. I like that. All right. Appreciate it, bro. Right. Thanks. Okay. Oh, here we go. This one going right here. Excuse me, sir. Are these legit? I hope so. You hope so? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get them? I did a while ago. This one I got retail, got a receipt and everything with that. This one I got in maybe 2013. Can I grab this one? Yeah. You got this in 2013? 2012, 2013, yeah. Okay, so y'all know I'm from Oregon. Okay, prime example. I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera. You see how there's cracking on the paint right here? Just very slightly right here. That's because of age. Now, I wear my pair a lot, which I might show you guys later in the video, but mine is super cracked up right here. This is a great telltale of like, this is a legit pair. Exactly. Also, when it comes to the Oregon Thug 3s in particular, the O, the shape is off, and then the duck, the feet on the back, they're a little bit smaller and then they're sometimes a little bit more square shaped and the, the materials are different. This is a legit pair, I know. Trust me, I've touched a lot of pairs. But uh. the question is, when it comes to more expensive sneakers like this, yes. how do you navigate in that space? Because a lot of people ask me that question, like, it's so rare, like, how did you get your hands on it? Uh, how do you know it's real? Yeah, I mean, for me, honestly, if people ask you where you got the shoes from or how you got it, like, it's just all basically by I me. Mean, how do you know? You can see it. You can see you got it from God, right? Right. I mean, so at the end of the day, what they say is just hearsay, right? right. And then, so I mean, you can't really go by. I mean, when, even when you sell a car, you're like, oh, why are you selling it? Like, right. why does it matter? Like, right. oh, the car is a piece of shit. That's why I'm selling it. <laughs> right. And well, you can go buy it. I mean, I mean, if they don't buy it because of that, then it's kind of weird. Oh, the car is, you know, it shoots money out of the, you know, glove box. Right. Would they buy it? I mean, it's all hearsay, like I said. So at the end of the day, if people say where they get it from, whatever, I feel like and it's just, it doesn't really mean anything, right. you know? I told you this when I got it, but it doesn't really mean it's a fact. Right, right. You know, right. but. Yeah, you could have got them yesterday. Exactly. So this is what it is. So I mean, I don't go by what people ask me, oh, where you got the shoes from or how much you get. You know, I mean, it's end of the day you just gotta make the judgment for yourself yeah. and just make the right choice you know and i think it's about the trust in uh relationships people that's been in a game for a long time that's looking out for each other that's got your back sure. uh you is know, a huge thing too. Bought into it, like place like this is because you get a legit check right away you know yeah. so people have the peace of mind and it's not like you know you try to sell it online they're always iffy about it but here they can have that comfort that people are you're doing a legit check on it you yeah, know yeah. so that's why it's cool yeah yeah i appreciate it bro thanks for the info yeah so okay. Was that valuable information? Ask me down. You know, com drop a comment down below. Um, I feel like we're hitting a lot of different points in the video, asking different questions, stuff that I'm always interested in. So uh, let's walk around. Let's look at. We gotta find some people with some with some bad fakes. And we gotta find some people with some with some uh, with them shoes. What do I keep? I don't know the name of them. It's like the they just got the symbols and stuff on the side. They look like dunks, but they like switch the swoosh out. Not the zigzag ones, but there's something else. I think a big thing is this, is like when you come to the events like this, it's about building relationships too. It's not about just buying shoes. And the reason why I say that is, again, back to what we were talking about just a minute ago, trusted people, uh, trusted sellers. Speaking of that, let's go over to a very trusted seller that I've known for a long time. Good friend of mine. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the videos on the channel, we've done stuff in the vault before. Let's go check out Project Blitz. They got some crazy heat up in the case, and uh, they sell you know new releases as well. But they do a lot of samples and PEs, which is right up my alley. So let's go check that out. And in the meantime, while we're walking over there, oh, let's ask them right here. What do you think about these? Okay, so I have a question. What's up, boss? How you doing? We're interested in different sneakers like this. Is this considered a fake, a custom, or a real shoe? We're not grouped in with them. With with who? Whoever else. We don't do what they do. Okay. This is our brand. Okay. So it's your 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 shoe from your brand. Everything's made from scratch. Okay. Every piece of the process we vet through picking the rubber materials, okay. picking the uppers, the stitching techniques. Other people will like get a blank and do whatever. Right. Ours is like completely from scratch. Okay. What's the name of the brand? Dibic. Dibic? Yeah. Okay. How how long y'all been around? Um 
This has been around for like three years. Okay. Before that, I was doing like customs and stuff. Got you. But we came out like um, my homies like Trevor and Kai were some of the first people to come to market yeah. with type of shit like this. We came out around that time and that's really when people tried to like recreate the wave. Right, right, right. But for years before that, you got to go through sampling and stuff like that. And so a lot of people get lost in the sauce trying to make right. something that looks like something else. Right. But we never, the goal was never to make something that looks like something else. Okay. We're skaters. We wanted to make our own thing. And so, yeah. So, all right. Yeah, I'm just asking uh, all the different types of sneakers and everybody say, yeah, real fake. And uh, what's the other one I said? Custom. Yeah, that's a lot of different people categorize things in different ways. So I'm interested to see what people think. Appreciate it, bro. I got you. Thanks. That's a great example, right? What's like dice on the side of the shoe? Yeah. But it looked like a dunk. Silhouette. Silhouette. <laughs> little bit of extra piece of but, material. Question though. How do you create a brand new silhouette of a shoe that is gonna A perform well and B good for performance? Like like where? Right. Like where? So that's the thing though, like to be an original design is very, very hard to be successful when you have classic, iconic, staple models. Hold on. Yeah, so when people have classic, iconic models like the Jordan 4, the 3, the 11, the 1, the 6, the, the Dunks, the Air Force 1s, the Cortezes, the Blazers, the you know what I'm saying? Like you have all these iconic models, the Shell Toes, the different brands have their staples from 30, 40 years ago. People are recreating those and putting it, their twist on it. But back then, they were making those shoes for the first time. And it was, you know, changing the game. So it's like, how do we set that new tone in a new way, right? So then we have to look at more futuristic sneakers and different stuff like that, and then ask that question. Even with some of the Yeezys, like you look at those wild ass foam Yeezy shoes, and like you say, then everybody start copying their style, right? So I don't know, it's very interesting on that part. But for me, you always take it back to that. Just like when you hear a song, right? You're like, oh, they sampled this. I know what that song, the original song was. This is the new version. So I feel like it's kind of that same way when it comes to designing. And it is hard, yeah. But if you're a small brand and you want to be successful, you're going to create something that you know that works, right? Or if you make a YouTube video, it's like, oh, let's make something that I know worked in the past and then we'll make it, you know, make my version of it in the future. Everybody can look at it different ways though. But we're at Blitz now. Come over here. Let's look at some real dunks right here. These things is crazy. All right, so up in the case, I'll let you do some talking now. Man, we got <clears throat> probably an easy million in here. Crazy, crazy pairs. You know, we got the Flums, the Freddies, Futura Samples, Parises. We got the whole city pack with New York, with the London, Tokyo, Paris. As you can see, we got the Trav PlayStations. I'll pull them out for you guys. Yo, these are insane. Everybody's been loving them this entire weekend. People constantly asking about them. They say there's 24 pairs in the world, but this is the only pair that I've seen. Yeah. So, you know. We also got some of these that rumor on the street is they, they actually came from this guy. Sorry. And, and he might want them back. So we I might do, have to, I do want them back. We might have to work something on these because these got to go, man. Uh -oh. These got to go. Uh oh. Yeah, because they're ready to, they're going to be ready to bust at any moment. <laughs> hey, yo. You know, we got some 85s. Yes. Crazy pair. I super slept on it in this entire case. You know, everyone wants to hear about the Freddies, the Parises, obviously the Travs, but this pair is insane. Um, super crazy pair. I love how the the, uh, the laces like change over time and the age. That's what we're talking about. Like if you fake an old shoe, especially an old ass shoe like that, it's like you can't do it because aging is a huge factor. Even on, on these dunks and stuff, like if you make a new version, a new fake version of it now, it's like it's kind of impossible because you know the aging and how the materials wear and all the different things. So how do you guys go through your authentication process when it comes to getting stuff? Because y'all got bulk, y'all got samples, y'all got PEs, all those different things. Man, well, to tell you the truth, a lot of our stuff comes from uh, some pretty reliable sources. <laughs> and you you probably know that too. So, you know, we, we, we go through it and make sure everything's good. But any, any customer of ours can guarantee that everything is 100% right. authentic. Right. And that's one of the most important things I was talking about. You build relationships, you find the brands that you like. And then, like we've talked about in other videos as well, continu continually buy from those same people that you rock with because then you start to get a deal, they start hooking you up, you're consistent with them. Like if you're gonna go spend $500 on a pair of shoes, why buy it with a new person? Buy it from the same person you already been rocking with because they might sell you for 480. You might save 20 bucks. You do that every time, you save three, $400 over a year or might be a couple thousand dollars over a year. But that's again, a whole nother topic. But you know what I'm saying. Yes, sir. <laughs> so yeah, check out the booth real quick. We got some uh, 
crazy bangers in there. You get the bottom side, the Blitz, LED, Nia, or the Nia sign up in there. If y'all haven't seen the vault video like I was talking about, I'll try to link that down below if I remember. If not, we might have to pull back up. I'm sure they got some new stuff up in there. See what they got on the low. They, it, he said they're getting rid of stuff. See, last time they wasn't trying to. I might have to try to make a play. What y'all think down below? <laughs> All right, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah. It's good, Wait, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you want to finish. Let's do it. Let's do it. So you be watching these yeah, videos? You be watching the video, bro? Yeah, That's what's up. Hey, well, we're making a video right now. Tell right, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, y'all subscribe. Y'all already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's go. <laughs> All right, bro. Everybody give it up for Chance and DJ Seeker. <laughs> Yes, sir. Y'all got some giveaways, sir? What's good? Size medium. I hate doing that stuff. I get too nervous. But this guy, he convinces me to go every time. Can I get a picture? So Let's do it, bro. The designer of this wants to give away three pairs. Yeah. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you. Thank you. It's too tight, huh? Yo, yo. Is that dude? Is that dude's shoes right there, real or fake? Right here with the blue shoes, the patent leathers. He said it. You can say it farther back. Right. Okay. Damn, those are bad. Excuse me. Can we get a clip of you guys' kicks? Oh yeah, for sure. What y'all rocking today? Uh, Jordan ones, green. I don't green. know. Yeah, the green. She got me these. I don't even know what they call you because they from New York. That's all I know. Roy, like the Nipsey Blue. He said Nipsey Blue. Um, what in the I hell is? Bad. I feel bad too. I feel bad. But she bought him some fakes. He don't even know. She said she got him off a of StockX. Lying. And I know they didn't sell him on StockX because those looked extra fake. Okay, so what do you feel about situations like that? Bro didn't even know. He's just out here trying to get fly, put the fit together. He's like, this is cool, you know what I'm saying? Well, like, how do, how do we navigate those situations? What do you think? I feel like it's burnt out because I would never do that to you, but maybe she didn't know. You know, maybe she's not educated in shoes enough to be like, oh, that's a fake shoe. But And then, like, I can't even, like, roast somebody or whatever, even if I roast in, all that shit's stupid. But either way, like, I can't be like, oh, like, he's not an experienced sneakerhead. It'd be different if he was an experienced sneakerhead purposely, like, rocking the fakes and all this stuff. He don't even know. That's crazy. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Let's in my DNA. Hey, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. Wanna know. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the 